Hi everybody, welcome to today's Vehicle Visionary. Today we're at Holmes Honda in Shreveport, Louisiana to look at the 2022 Honda Ridgeline RTLE. The exterior color on this model is platinum white pearl. It has a beige interior. And for 2021, Honda made a few changes, including the addition of standard all-wheel drive, the front-wheel drive system gone on the ridge lines. You will also find that from the A-pillar forward, the truck has a new look, more of a boxy, kind of squared-off look to make it look more truck-like, a little more aggressive look. LED headlights and LED fog lights. Of course, you'll also have the daytime running lights. And highlighted features include navigation, lane departure warning with lane keeping assist, parking sensors, blind spot information system warning. You'll also find a heated steering wheel and heated seats on the interior. The tire size is 245.60 at all four corners, wrapped around 18-inch wheels. Under the hood, there is one option available here, but it's a rather potent option. The 3.5 liter V6 making 280 horsepower and 262 pound-feet of torque. Made it to a 9-speed automatic transmission and of course putting power to the ground through that standard all-wheel drive system that I mentioned earlier. MPGs come in at 18 miles per gallon city and 24 out on the highway. Now the bed is something that definitely sets this truck apart from many others. Payload numbers come in at 1,509 pounds and towing is a respectable 5,000 pounds. But of course that's not what separates it apart so much as is the way the tailgate operates to begin with. You can open it in the conventional way, but it also swings out to make access to the bed trunk much easier. And that is a great multitasking system as it can be used to put snacks and drinks in, ice things down. There's even a drain plug, and that means that it's easy to drain the water when the ice melts, or if you've had a day out on the work site or wherever you are getting dirty, out playing in the mud, I don't know, it could be anything. You can also put boots and whatever and spray them down in there and clean everything off and of course let that drain out as well. The system can also be, or I should say the bed trunk, can also be partitioned off to separate things out. And you'll also find the spare tire located within this area as well. There are wing nuts to be released that allow the entire tray that the spare tire and all of the tools to change that tire are located within. You can pull that back and mount it in place, making access very easy. There is, of course, the power sliding rear window. I'll just show you that on the screen real quick as we take a look into the beige interior for the first time into the back seat. Plentiful space. Of course, you can increase cargo capacity if you need to by Folding the seats up, both sides do fold up. There are air conditioning vents built into the rear of the console, as is connectivity. And for the rear seat passenger sitting in the middle, the transmission tunnel, well, basically is non-existent. That makes for a more comfortable riding experience. And looking into the front seat, you're going to have dual door bins, upper and lower door bins on the door panel itself, cup holders built in there as well. There is plentiful space within the glove box, and you will have power driver and passenger seats on the RTLE trim level. Very comfortable seating, by the way. And as we look in through the driver's side door, we'll have basically the same setup, of course, that we did on the passenger side, with the exception of seat memory. Two different settings, to be exact. And, of course, multiple controls here on the dashboard to the left of the steering wheel for safety features for econ mode. You also have a tilt and telescopically adjustable steering wheel. A quick look at the dashboard and the steering wheel mounted controls for going through a lot of information on the dashboard. Of course, you also have cruise control and there are shifter paddles on the steering wheel as well. You have the infotainment screen that is chocked full of information but very easy to use and learn. Dual zone climate control here in the front seat. Also, like I mentioned, you have those heated seats for the driver and passenger. Now, in America, only available with heated seats. Apparently, in Canada, you can get heated and ventilated. Maybe we'll see that come to the American market in the future. Leave a comment if you'd like to see that happen. And, of course, connectivity again for the phone. You've got wireless charging. And a lot of people will have mixed reactions about this. You will have the push-button shifter down there. You've got multiple driving modes, including drive, sequential, and additional driving modes as well. You've got the 
cup holders there, quite a few cup holders throughout the interior and a spacious console with a lot of interior space. Got that tray that you can slide back and forth and even remove out of the way if you want to depending on the situation. Of course, armrests built into the seats as well. And since the truck is in the showroom today, we're not going to be able to do a test drive, but that is what the 2022 Honda Ridgeline RTLE is all about. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out another of the videos that is on the screen right now, and I will see you there.